Transportation Authority is their safety on the move campaign rolled out in the Brentwood area today, delivering a life saving message. It's a moving classroom, really, that parked in Pearl Plaza for several hours. Anchor Jennifer Waugh caught up with the bus during its first stop earlier this month to show us the free training it offers to prevent overdoses. The first one, the pinpoint pupils. It looks like a classroom on the inside. Anyone can attend to learn about the signs of an opioid overdose and Narcan is the brand that you guys are going to get. It's a nasal spray. How to use the one thing that can reverse it, Narcan. This mobile classroom is the first of its kind in the country. We can take the training directly into those neighborhoods. Chris Jurassi says JTA has learned firsthand the importance of Narcan training. This is truly life-saving. Uh, we've had uh, our security officers riding buses that carry Narcan, and we had a unresponsive uh, passenger that was in cardiac arrest that we administered Narcan to and revived him prior to rescue getting there. It's why JTA partnered with Drug Free Duval to get Narcan into as many hands as possible using its safety on the move bus. We have moms, dads, we have grandparents, we have sisters and brothers, we have just business people and families and, you know, people that just want to help keep the community safe. The training is not scary, it's not overwhelming, it's very focused, very targeted. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. You're free to ask questions. We will do it if we have a class of two or a class of 20. You know, we are prepared to meet people where they are. What did you think of the class? It was so good. Uh, Drug Free Duval has taught me a lot of information. I feel super confident that I could save a life if I did see somebody who overdosed, so I'm really happy I came today. Was there anything about what you heard in the training that you didn't realize or know? Yeah, honestly, I really didn't know the signs of an overdose or, you know, that I was even protected if I do respond to an overdose. So those were a couple of things that I learned new today. 108,285 people died of an overdose last year in our country. Salmo and everyone on this bus hope they can prevent another one. Any business or group that's interested in having the safety on the move bus visit their location, you can reach out to Drug Free Duval by going to drugfreeduval.org. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.